Hey, it's Greg out here with MaritimeGardening.com. I haven't got a lot of battery left on my camera, but I thought I'd do a quick video on different kinds of mulches in your garden and their ability to insulate the soil and uh, keep the soil from freezing. If you live in a northern place where everything gets frozen in the winter, uh, the extent to which your soil is frozen will have an effect on when you're able to plant everything in the spring. Uh, the sooner your soil thaws out, the sooner you can get to work. So different mulches have a different ability to keep the soil from freezing. So I thought I'd just do a little quick walk around the garden using my pickaxe and show you which stuff is frozen and which stuff is not frozen. Stay with me. All right, so this is a garden that was mulched with uh, seaweed, obviously. Um, and I put a good, good layer of it on, maybe four or five inches. That's a lot of seaweed, a lot of nutrients. Very dark in color. Um, uh, it wasn't. It was green when I put it down, but it sort of turns this uh, burgundy, purple, black sort of color over time. Let's see if the soil's frozen. I'm going to use the, the blunt part of my pickaxe because that'll have the hardest time penetrating. That. That is frozen. That soil is frozen. See how that, right? That is frozen. Doesn't want to go in. Looking here, frozen soil. So seaweed, not a good insulator. Wonderful mulch, pretty good with water retention in the summer, but in terms of heat, not great. Let's look over here. Hay. You know, the more I use hay, the more I like it. Yes, it has weed seeds in it, but uh, man, it's got a lot of great properties. It really feeds the soil. Uh, you can, if you're lucky, you can source it for free. I can. And uh, and uh, as an insulator, I'm gonna predict that this soil is not frozen. Yeah, look at that, right in. So there's a bit of freeze in here. But once you get down about two inches, it's thawed. Yeah, the top layer is frozen. There's about an inch or so of ice, but then underneath that, the soil is loose. Here we got another seaweed garden over here. This has got tulips in it, so I should be careful where I hit, but just for the sake of science, frozen. Frozen solid. Turn around over here. A hay mulched garden. Let's have a look. Still get some battery, yeah. Oh, that's frozen. Just the top. That's just the top. Yeah, once we get beneath the top, then it's not frozen. Not frozen at all. So same sort of thing. A bit of a bit of ice on the top, but then it's thawed underneath. Let's check another spot while I run out this battery. Alright, here's a garden that's all leaves. This one's quite low, sort of at green. Let's check out the leaves. Look at that. What a great insulator. Only the slightest bit of frost in this. A little bit of ice. You can see the, the white ice there. But once you get down, it's soft. Soft soil. Alright. Almost like the soil inside the uh, one of my cold frames, if you watched the, the video I did the other day. So the leaves are doing a great job of insulating the soil. I think that's just about all the mediums I have, <laughs> so I can't show any, anything else. Here we've got uh, some battery here. Oh, we're just about dead. Here we've got two raised beds, somewhat raised, about eight inches above the ground. One seaweed, one hay. Actually, this is seaweed over hay. I wonder how this is working. There's some ice in there, for sure. Pretty hard to get through. That's the thing about raised beds. They 
they don't hold their heat as well as beds in the ground. Let's talk about this hay here. That's pretty frozen too. Whoa. So despite the fact that some of my other beds with hay are okay, beds that are more grade, beds like this that are raised uh, seem to be more frozen. So these are raised, this is a raised bed with hay, the ground's frozen. Over here, just past the seaweed garden, that's the one we tested, and it's a garden at grade with hay, not frozen or barely frozen sort of thing. So certainly being lower in the ground, uh, more likely to not be so frozen, and also uh, putting a good, um, th most of this hay was a foot high when I originally piled it on. A good layer of hay seems to insulate the soil a lot better. Alright, so uh, my battery's just about dead, so I gotta make this quick. I hope that was helpful. I hope that gave you some ideas. I mean, when it comes to mulches, use whatever you can get your hands on. I just thought it would be interesting for people to, to view uh, the different properties of these mulches and how some of them are more or less likely to uh, insulate your soil and keep it from freezing so much. The more your soil freezes, the later your spring is going to come for you in terms of your planting dates and that affects how soon you get your food. So thanks for watching, check out my podcast maritimegardening.com and until next time get out there, get at it and have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.